Well, hello, hello. My name is Dan Forbes. I'm a piano instructor in the Kalamazoo, Michigan area. I've been teaching over five years. I've been playing over 30. I'm a member of the Kalamazoo Area Music Teachers Association. And this video is the first in a series of videos designed to help you quickly build skills regardless of what type of music it is you wish to play. So that being said, I think regardless of whether you want to play music that sounds something like this, or maybe you want to play something that sounds a little more like this. Either way, I think at some point you're going to want to know how, either how to read music or play by ear. And if you're looking to read music, certainly you're going to have to know the names of the notes. If you're looking to play by ear, at some point you're probably going to rehearse with other musicians. And it's going to be difficult to do that if you don't know what notes you're playing. It's going to be very difficult to have a conversation with other musicians. So, without further ado, let's get this done, shall we? Okay, so looking at the piano here, we can see that there are groups of keys. It is a repeating pattern. We've got a group of three, group of two, three, two, looking at the black keys here, three, two, three, two, and so on down the line. We do have this one lonely straggler key at the very bottom, and you may not even have that on your keyboard at home because this happens to be a full-size keyboard and uh, you may have a keyboard that is not full-size. Now if you have an acoustic piano presumably you do have 88 keys but if that's not the case do not panic. What we're going to do is look at a very common landmark called middle C. See how that's kind of smack dab right in the center of the piano into the immediate left of the group of two black keys. Okay, and you guessed it. Now if we look at this next group of two black keys to the immediate left of that group, this is also C. So this, we might call that high C. C, C, and well, this is actually C. Uh, if this piano did in fact continue, uh, the very next thing would be the group of two. But we're, we're out of keys. Same thing going the other way here. We've got this, this C down low. And all the way down there. Okay. So, you guessed it. This is D. C. D. D is smack dab in between the group of two blacks. Same thing here. D. 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 Okay. Moving the other way. You've got D. 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 Okay. Now this is E. So we've done C, D, now E. E. So you notice that we're using alphabet letters. Uh, we use only seven letters of the alphabet to name the keys, which is possible, obviously, because it is a repeating pattern. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. Okay? So now let's look at the group of two black keys C, D, E. This is F. This is also next to. Two, but it's not in the group of two, is it? 
Okay, so it's important to differentiate between the group of two and the group of three. This is C, which is to the left, excuse me, this is C to the immediate left of the group of two black keys, where my pinky is right now. And where my pointer is, this is F to the immediate uh, left of the group of three black keys. So important difference there. Here's another F. Notice we skipped over that group of two to the group of three. Skip over the group of two, go to the group of three to find the next F, and so on. And now we're up to, looks like we're up to G here. G, 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 G. So if you haven't already tried this at home, please do. Please explore your keyboard just as I have. Now there is no H in music. We only use A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the first seven letters of the alphabet. Uh, so, we're, uh, this, this one is A right here. So we've done C, D, E, F, G, this is A. Right in between the second and third black key in the group of three for each of these. And similarly, when we go in the opposite direction. And on the full size piano, I want you to know it, this very first bottom key is in fact A. And B is right here. To the immediate right of the group of three. B. And so on. And now we've actually come full circle. We have named all the keys here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Okay, so now we can talk about the names of the black keys. And we use in music something called sharps and flats to name these black keys. And to the immediate right of middle C here, see this black key? This is, I'm going to call this C sharp. And it actually has two names. C sharp is in fact the same key as D flat. So notice sharp is to the immediate right, flat is to the immediate left. It takes us to, so D flat and C sharp take us to the same key. Uh, the same is true, what we've got here, D sharp, right next to D is D sharp, and uh, going to the left of E is E flat, so kind of like Dan and Daniel, right? Two names for the same black key, D sharp and E flat. F sharp is the same as G flat. Now, hold the presses here. I kind of skipped over this. Okay, so this is interesting. E sharp is actually F. Because there is no black key to go to. E sharp is actually F. F flat is actually E. Now, that's not extremely important out the gate, but it will be something that you'll want to know down the line. Okay, G sharp is A flat, A sharp is B flat, and you guessed it, we've got the same dilemma here with the white keys with no black in the middle, no black in between, so B sharp is in fact C. C flat is in fact B. Okay, so now we can name all the keys of the keyboard. Let's talk a minute about rhythm, shall we? Uh, we really cannot discuss music intelligently without talking about rhythm. It's really that integral. So I like to think of this. This is uh, called a metronome, this device here. You may have seen the ones that look like uh, they have a pendulum, and those are useful. You may see the ones that you would download and put that on your iPad or, or your smartphone. So any of those are good metronomes. Uh, so the metronome is kind of like the portable drummer, right? And 
really uh, as our music becomes more complicated it becomes more and more critical that we practice using the metronome just so we can have a steady sense of beat so I'd like to introduce some very basic rhythmic figures here that are very uh, fundamental this is this uh, right here this one is called a quarter note this uh, type of note gets one count or one beat so if I were to play quarter notes on a C let's do that in a minute beat 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 so one count or one beat just matching the beat that's all we're doing when we play these quarter notes okay so see how that note has a stem and is full in the middle as opposed to this note which is empty in the middle and has a stem uh, this note we call this a half note and this one gets two counts or two beats so again let's get that B going we'll play D this time and we'll hold it for two beats or two counts each time one two one two one two one two one two I encourage you to practice this at home doing these types of notes the quarter note the <coughs> quarter note and the half note okay so moving on here we've now got a three count note looks awfully like the two count note except it's got a dot in front of it that is the only difference between this note and this note okay so uh, you, you guessed it we're just gonna hold the key for three beats and count to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Finally, this is an, a note that is empty in the middle and has no stem. We call this a whole note. We play this one for four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once again. One, two, three, four. So at this point, you may be able to mix your rhythms. For example, we could play two quarter notes followed by a half. One, 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 two, one, 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 two may get adventurous and decide to adjust your metronome to a faster pace one 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 two but I would I would recommend trying it slow first uh, definitely build that confidence first and this kind of concludes our little uh, video for today on geography and basic rhythm please join me for the next video hope you learned something today have a great day